Hello and welcome back to Spec Builder video tutorials. Today we're going to talk about how we can work in Spec Builder with the proprietary files and specifically with positional flat files. Uh, our partners have great, plain, uh, great supplies um, said that one of their core systems is SAP, SAP. And that system produces the files in the native uh, SAP format. Um, one of the transactions that they're going to send to us would be the orders transaction, SAP orders transaction. And they gave us an example of such file. This is the file. It's all positional, so there are no delimiters. Uh, every record designates some special information about the purchase order. And there is some data in the file. So along with this file, they exported the SAP IDOC structure of the data. So this is the format uh, as it goes in the SAP system. So they just send it to us saying, take this. If you can somehow manage to process the data, that'd be great because we standardize on that backend system and we need you to work with it. Luckily, Spec Builder can handle this task. So in order to process such data file, First, what we need to do is we need to build the structure because we always analyze the data against a certain structure. Um, in Spec Builder, we have very large variety of so-called import, mo import modules. These are the modules which can import the data from various formats, whether it's COBOL copybook for IBM mainframes or Gentran data or something else. So as you can see, there is very huge list of possible formats we can import into Spec Builder. So one of them is SAP IDOC guideline. So we can go ahead and choose that, click next. Then we can select that configuration file which was supplied to us by our partner. We can click next, next. And now we can see the guideline as it comes from that structure. So we can see all the segments, all the elements. In addition to that, we have exactly the same guideline from our database. So we can open that as well. So as you can see, those are identical. So we took the structure as it was given to us by our partner, we imported that to Spec Builder, and you can do that with any other document. We can go ahead and analyze the data file which they sent us, orders. This is an example of the file which they're gonna use, and you know, passed without any errors. Again, we can traverse the data file, we can see what segments form the data file, which elements, what are the restrictions on the elements, and so on. So you can do all that, it's all available in here. So in just one click, you can import any, almost any uh, external format. We support very big variety of them. So by having that, we can successfully receive the positional files from our partner, validate them, and if needed, we can do the changes to the spec. We can publish the spec in case we need to exchange with our trading partners, we can do uh, same type of publication we did for EDI in the previous videos. So it's a nicely formed printable document which gives all the information about the specification. Now, in addition to that goal, um, our partners said that for certain transactions, they keep them in the database. And by keeping them in the database, they don't really have this clear structure as for the SAP transaction. But instead, they can give us an example of the export that they did from the database. So we can possibly take that information and build the structure if we can. And of course, Spec Builder has a special capability for building the structure out of the data. And this is an example data. As you can see, it has the header row, which identifies who is the sender, who is the receiver, the date of the purchase order, and several detailed records which correspond to the line item if we talk about 850 for example. So now our job is to somehow take the data file and create a structure for it. So let's move back to Spec Builder. And for that 
we have a special tool which we briefly touched base on in the introduction video. It is called Spec Generator. Spec Generator, its purpose is to build the specification out of the data. So we can click on that, we can select the data file which we got from our partner, Database Extract. As you can see, there are different formats that we can use to generate the file. We will use positional flat file because this is what they send us. Uh, we generate the data based on, we generate the spec based on data only. We don't have any helper specifications, any databases, because it's very proprietary, very custom. So we'll click next. Now we can, now we can give some ID to that, to the document. Let's call it DB extract and rename. version 1.0 and I just made up the standard name version it's not very important we can click next and now you can see the preview of our data we see that this data has a header detail row and here you can choose whether every record has a delimiter at the end which is our case or it's pure positional meaning it's like one huge line of text so this is our case so we'll keep it as is uh, data is in table format, so every detail record has the same uh, length and width, and the first record is the header. So we select all that, we can click next, and here there is a chance for us to define the header and the record segment. Within the segment, we can build as many fields as needed, and we can do that by just clicking here and choosing what is the, what is the field length, as you can see, there are all specifications we can choose. The justification for the data, we can choose the padding. If it's not space, like for the numeric fields, for example, it could be zero and so on. So there are a lot of things you can build here. You can add as many, as many segments as needed. So you can add the field breaks here and it will just generate you more and more fields based on your field breaks. So you can fill all that, you can build a header, then you can go to, to the record, you can build the record set, and so on. So for the sake of time, we'll just skip it for now, and I'll open up the guideline which I, which I have built previously for this uh, video uh, using this UI, this tool. So let me open that up. Uh, this is the guideline. As you can see, it has two header and detail records. Uh, all those fields were automatically populated. We can take the data file and database extract. We can analyze to see if the data file is all good. And yes, it comes out without any errors. So now when somebody sends us such data file, such database extract, we can analyze the data. We can see if it's correct. Uh, we can navigate through that data we can switch to the business view if needed and we can navigate that in here um, and of course all the reports all the published capabilities like the print preview all that is also available to us so we can do everything we could do with the edi files but now we work with the positional files and in one of the next videos we'll talk about doing the mapping or building the maps between, let's say, database extract and the EDI file or EDI file and database extract and or any other combination. So you could use all that same spec uh, to do the mapping. And of course, you can add the user nodes like this segment contains basic PO information. So you can type anything in here, you can save that and you can save the guideline and publish it and send it to your trading partner uh, such if such need exists. So uh, when we are done working with that or if we have built a new guideline from scratch, which is by the way also possible, we can go ahead and click new guideline. We can say this is the blank positional file. We'll get just new guideline. And then we can go ahead and begin inserting the 
inserting the fields, the segments. So that process can be also done without any imports. But of course, using the built-in tools makes it much faster. The next thing which is also available in here is ability to export the data to the different formats. So for example, if you have built some custom data and you want that data to be available, for example, in your SAP system, then you can choose to export something to the SAP IDOC guideline and at the end you would receive the structure like this, which is consumable by SAP system and you can probably reverse your data and send it back to your trading partner in that same SAP format. So there are import tools, there, are, there is a spec generator tool which allows you to build a guideline and there are expert capabilities which help you to integrate with other systems. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.